What's up everybody? So summer is coming up very soon and what do I love most about summer besides the long awaited warm weather here in Minnesota? Weddings. Traditional Hmong weddings. I love Hmong weddings because it's a time of celebration. You know, the unification of two families and especially the bride and the groom. You know, it's a time to celebrate, a time to be joyous that two families are coming together, two people are coming together to be one. Now at every traditional Hmong wedding, there's always that long stretch white table, either put out in the living room of the bride's house or the basement. And there's always a lot of people, it's really tied your shoulder to shoulder, there's always loud noises. You know, besides the excitement, besides the camaraderie, besides, you know, all that's happening in the room, what I enjoy most about these weddings is the respect that's paid by both families to one another, especially through the exchange of words by the messengers or the mekong. Now, if you were like me, you probably didn't understand what was happening. You didn't understand the process. You didn't understand the words that were being said and the certain toasts, what toast they're on and how far along they are in the process of this wedding. So today, my friends, you're going to learn and I'm going to teach you about um, the different toasts um, that happens during a traditional Hmong wedding. Now, of course, there are a ton of them and I can't go through all of it, but I'm going to try to go through one of them for you. There are four reasons why sometimes we have a hard time understanding what's happening at a wedding. Number one, you're either tipsy or you're drunk. Number two, there's too much noise around you. People talking, laughing, cracking jokes, people trying to make you drink out of bowl horns. Number three. The talking happens simultaneously. Two of the Mekongs are talking at the same exact time. One person is saying one thing while the other is saying something. And there's not a time where one is saying one's listening, the other is saying the other is listening. They both speak simultaneously. So you can't even understand what they're saying, let alone you can hardly hear what one is saying. Number four, this is the most important one. The words, even if you did hear what they are saying, it's almost like the Da Vinci Code. You need to uncode these words because what they are saying basically are banglus, metaphors, idioms, proverbs, what you name it. Whatever they are saying, you almost need like a book, a coding book, the Da Vinci Code. Basically what you need is something to uncode what they are saying because they're speaking in all these metaphors and proverbs and idioms and dictums and you have no idea what's going on, what they're even saying. So today I'm going to share with you one toast that they usually do. And while I may not be able to help you with numbers one, two, and three, I'm gonna to try to help you with number four. So as many of you know, during a wedding, at the head of the table are the mekongs. And what happens is they usually have rounds of toasts. But she sing yeah. And so I'm gonna talk about a sing that usually happens at the beginning of the wedding. Sing no is either called sing kyo ta ko mong leng or mong leng no ke sing kyo mo de jia. Okay, Sing Kyo Ta Ko basically is the toast to welcome the groom and the family. Sing Kyo Ma Jia is the toast to the meal that's prepared by the bride's family. Okay, so Sing Kyo Ta Ko, Sing Kyo Ma Jia. So what happens is usually when they have this round of toast, the Mekong will start talking. This is when you get so confused because there's so many people talking. Both the Mekong are talking to each other. Everybody is talking to each other. And you have no idea who's talking to who. There's no order of who's talking, who's turn to talk. And gets really convoluted in the room. So what I'm going to do is talk individually about what the Mekong from the groom side is saying. And also what the Mekong from the bride side is saying. Because this is a toast about something where the bride side of the family is giving to the groom side of the family. What often happens is the Mekong from the groom side of the family will say a few words of thanks to the Mekong from the bride side of the family. And at the same time, the Mekong from the bride side of the family is saying a few words in response to the words from the Mekong from the groom side of the family. Now, these are the words of thanks that you might hear from the Mekong from the groom side of the family to thank the Mekong from the bride side of the family. They'll say words along the lines of, Watch 
So that's what the groom side of the family will say to the bride side of the family. And in response, this is what the bride side of the family would say. The mekong from the bride side would say, So o chao lo ma, lo ta na zi tau u ke, ni mo tu to mo nyang, ni nya cha te to lai cheng pang, ni mo tu to mo she, ni nya cha ke to lai cheng ke, ni o mo ka mo ke to la na zi tau no, ni tu o chi mo kang chi mo ke tau ya sa o chao lo ma. So those are some words that you might hear. Now keep in mind that there are many variations of how they will say these kinds of words. These are words that are very um, basic and these are words that are more common that you might hear during a traditional Hmong wedding. These words in itself, again, I mentioned the Da Vinci Code, it basically is Bang Lu Overload. Now to fully understand what they are trying to say, you might not understand what they're saying unless you understand the historical context and the meanings that are, are underlying these messages. So to explain all of this and to translate and explain the historical context of this would take a while. So what I plan to do is translate these words and also explain the historical context that's been passed through generation and also the meaning of these words and what they are trying to say to one another. So stay tuned. I'm excited to share this with you all and I hope that this will help you learn more about what's happening at traditional Hmong weddings besides standing around and getting drinks only. My name is Calvin Ningfu Yang. As always, take care, be well, stay tuned. Peace out.